I've had several people write to me about neck and shoulder stretches for people who sit at the computer all day especially. If you have a desk job, you probably feel that tension in your mid and upper back. So let's kind of stretch and move out this upper part. And you guys know I love circles, so of course we're gonna bring some hips, some bust circles into this. We'll skip the hip circles for today. So let's get started. This is a really nice way to just kind of wake up those mid-back muscles. What you're gonna do is simply just turn your um, palms forward and your thumbs out and feel the mid-back muscles kind of knitting your shoulder blades together. So really pull those shoulder blades together. But think about your lower ribs. Don't let them pop forward. Draw those lower ribs in. So you're really feeling it in the core and of course your mid-back as well. So squeeze it, hold it for about five more seconds, squeeze those mid-back muscles, pull your lower ribs in, and then release. <sighs> Let it all go and do that again. So again, you're turning those palms out or forward and the thumbs out, and then you're pulling the lower ribs in and just really squeezing the mid-back muscles and stretching out the front of the chest and the pecs. So this is really nice. That's something you can do anytime, even when you're at work, um, you can just do it every 30 minutes or so. This is a great way to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. Hold this and every 30 minutes, if you do this for about 30 seconds, you'll really feel a difference. So one last time, turn the palms forward, thumbs out, squeeze those mid-back muscles together and pull in the lower ribs and just hold it, really squeeze those muscles. Every time you activate the muscles, you're bringing blood flow to the area. That blood's really gonna rush back in, especially when we release right now, so let it go. Now, let's do a couple bust circles. We'll just do half circles. So it's like you're drawing a half circle behind you and then the other way. So the circles are behind you, you're drawing a half circle and then the other way. So I'll show you again from the front, draw a half circle and then a half circle the other way. And you can do it forward too, a half circle forward and a half circle the other way. Just a couple more times. And now, we're gonna stretch open the front of the chest again. Just clasp your hands behind your back and hold those hands back there. So you can go ahead, if you um, don't have any back pain, low back pain, and if you don't have diastasis recti, you can go ahead and let your low back arch. If you do have diastasis recti or low back pain, you wanna keep those lower ribs pulled in. So stretch out the front of the chest, the pecs. That area can get really tight if you have a desk job and your hands are always in front of you working on your um, uh, keyboard on your computer. So hold it here, open the front of the chest, and then let's add some forward bends. So just forward and up. How about 10 times, really stretch out the backs of the legs and exhale on the way up. more times and next we're gonna really get those shoulders it's gonna feel so good so last time here okay shake out the arms and let's grab the shoulder and work the shoulder so you're going to bring your hand behind your back I have my right hand and my hand is actually kind of holding on to the outside of my hip you can either hold on to it or just put your hand behind your back and then you're gonna use the other hand to pull your head straight over to the side. So not forward and not back, but just straight over to the side. So having your hand kind of down here, down low, helps to pull down, depress this shoulder, pull it down. So you wanna feel that nice stretch in the side of your um, neck and the shoulder. Now we're gonna work on stretching some of the different muscles in the neck. There's lots of little muscles back there. So we're gonna work on stretching the different muscles. I want you to think about not, not bringing your head forward, but actually rotating your head so that it's like you're whispering a secret to your armpit <laughs> or your shoulder. It's like you're whispering a little secret and holding it there. So you're still side bent at the head, but you're whispering a little secret. Now keep that side bend, but rotate your head so you're listening to your shoulder talk back to you. So you're gonna whisper it a secret and then you're gonna listen, turn your ear toward your shoulder. 
So again, this is really just stretching the different, tiny little different muscles in your neck and um, shoulder area, especially your neck. So again, let's turn, rotate the head. You're still side bent, but you're rotating the head so you're gonna whisper a secret. And then you're gonna rotate and look up so that you're listening to the answer. So your ear is down toward your shoulder. And now just bring your head back to neutral. And so now it's just a straight side bend, no rotation. It's just a side bend. And again, I really encourage the 30-30 rule. Go ahead and push your head back up to, ooh, <laughs> push it back up, let it go. You should feel good, but you should definitely feel stretched out in here. So nod your head a few times, turn it side to side. Maybe even do a few small half circles of your head. Just let it go. And then let's do the other side. So now my other arm is behind my back. And then I use my hand to pull my head straight down to the side. And just let it stretch. Feel that right here all through your neck and shoulder. And so what I was saying is that I really encourage the 30-30 rule, which is every 30 minutes that you're doing something in one position, you want to take 30 seconds and do something to stretch it out or just to move your body. So again, if you work at a desk job, an office job, really keep this, uh, take this to heart and every 30 minutes, if you can do something to move or stretch in the opposite direction, it is going to save your back, your neck, all of that, your wrists. This pain is big for office workers. Okay, so let's tell a secret to our shoulder. So keep the side bend, but you're going to rotate your head so it's like your mouth is pointing down toward your shoulder. And then keep the side bend, but rotate your head so that your ear is pointing down toward your shoulder. And just really feel that stretching out the different muscles in your neck and shoulder, but especially your neck. Okay, one more time, tell the secret. So just rotate your head, you're still side bent but you're rotating your head so that you're telling a secret to your shoulder. And then rotate your head so you're listening with your ear. You've got your ear looking up toward the ceiling and listening to your shoulder with your ear. Okay, now come back to neutral and now it's just a straight side bend. Just a side bend to one side to the right for me. And then use your hand and push it back up and again, you're gonna really feel stretched out. So you're gonna to wanna to take a minute just to gently move your neck, maybe support your neck with your hands and do some gentle extension and flexion and maybe even a couple nice half circles, just very gentle half circles. And if you are not in an office and you have some space and can lie down, I'm gonna show you a couple quick moves lying down. So let's go down to the floor. So you're gonna be down in like a child's pose position here. You can put your knees can be slightly apart but not too far apart. So knees are under you, heads down, nestle in there, and then grab your heels and hold onto your heels the whole time. And you're gonna roll onto the top of your head and you're gonna feel that nice stretch of the shoulders and that mid back area. It feels so good. Just gentle pressure on the crown of your head, nothing too much. And then come on down. Let's do that one more time. So again, you're holding onto your heels and then rolling onto the top of the head, holding onto the heels the whole time and really feeling that shoulder stretch. And sit back, come on up. And a similar area, we're going to stretch the similar area. Put your left hand between your legs and then your right hand on top. So your right hand in front. And you're going to come onto your um, knees and you're going to stretch your shoulders by rounding your spine. Now some people feel this really strongly, some people don't feel it at all. So experiment with it. I feel it pretty strongly because I tend to be really tense in my mid back. So I'll show you the other way. So left hand, or excuse me, right hand behind, left hand in front, and then kind of adjust yourself so that maybe you can feel this if you round your spine. 
Really quickly, I wanna show you how you can do that standing up too. So again, you put one hand between your knees, the other hand in front, your knees are bent, and then you straighten out your knees and you feel that nice stretch as you round your spine, feel that nice stretch in your mid back. And release, other way, so right hand in first, then left hand, they're just kind of stacked one on top of the other. Knees are bent and then straighten the knees and keep your spine rounded. It feels really good. And stretches like this, you wanna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. All right, release it. And let's come on down. I'm gonna show you, I, I wanted to show you a couple more on the floor. So this one is thread the needle. You're on your hands and knees and you're gonna just stretch your arm underneath like you're reaching underneath the other arm. And this is another nice mid-back stretch. It's even a neck stretch because I'm looking to the side. And coming on up, going the other way. So threading the needle, palm can be down or up. Just see what feels good to you. And now my head is looking this direction toward the wall. Let's do that one one more time on each side. So again, thread the needle. This elbow is bent. This hand is on the ground. Experiment with what position you want, palm up or palm down. Just feel that nice back of the shoulder and mid back stretch and then the neck stretch because I'm looking to the side. And I should have put my hair in a ponytail, but I didn't. And other way, threading the needle. All right, next we have a really nice stretch for the very back of the neck and strengthener from the, for the front of the neck. So what can happen when we sit at the computer or the desk for long periods of time and we're like this, even though we don't intend to be, this often happens. So that makes these muscles really tight, these muscles back here long and weak, and then for the neck, it makes the back of the, if you can picture this, it makes the back of the neck muscles very tight and short, and these front of the neck muscles very long and weak. So you can see that kind of short and tight and then long and weak. So we're gonna work on that on our backs. So come on down onto your back. This is a great exercise for people with neck pain. Um, of course, talk to your, your doctor or your physical therapist if you have neck pain that is severe, but this is a great one you could do at home. So what you're gonna do is tuck your chin to your chest, use your the front of your neck muscles, we're strengthening and shortening them, and then lengthening and stretching the back of the neck muscles. So tuck your chin to your chest like you're giving yourself a double chin, and then hold it and use these neck muscles to lift your whole head up. Keep, okay, so keeping the chin tucked, again, you can have your hands behind your head if you need it, very lightly, but keeping your chin tucked, you bring your whole head and tucked chin back down to the floor and then release. And if this is too much for you to start with, you can have a pillow underneath your head if, it, if you're too um, tight and if, if maybe your muscles are a little too weak. You can have your head um, come down onto a pillow so it's not such a long ways down with your head. So let's do it again. Tuck that chin, keep that chin tucked, bring your whole head up, hold it, Again, you can always have a pillow behind you if you're gonna need that to fall back on. Hopefully not fall. Hold it. And then keep the chin tucked, pull head down, and then release. You wanna rock your head side to side. And last time, chin tuck. Feel the muscles contract in the front of your neck. Pull head up. You can always have your hand behind you for support. Keep that chin tuck entire head and chin tucked down, and then release, let it go. All right, shake it all out. I'm gonna show you just one last stretch, and it's just a really a relaxation stretch that you can hold for as long as you want, ultimately five minutes, 10 minutes, um, and I'll show you two different ways to do it. All it is is just a chest opener stretch um, and a relaxation pose, we all need that. So you're just gonna be doing this. Now, you can do it just lying down on the floor. It's just nice just to lie like that. But even better 
If you happen to have a half foam roller, this is just a half dome here, you can lay it down and sit on the end with your bottom and lie back. You should fit, unless you're extremely tall, you should fit with your head just at the top and your bottom at the bottom and then open your arms out to the side and experiment with your legs. Maybe have them down. Try not to overly arch your back here. You want to just feel that nice opening in the front of your chest. So that is one option. The other option, if you do not have a foam roller, um, a lot of people have yoga blocks, and so you can put experiment with heights, but you can, I, I really like to open up my chest, so I like to have it on this height here for my, I'm gonna drape myself over it, and then have my head rest on this, but at this height, but you can experiment again with different heights. So, this is nice to do. You have to be, uh, make sure that this doesn't hurt your back though. So you're gonna just put this in your mid back area, carefully lower your head down onto the block, and then it's a really big chest opener. Again, you can experiment with different block heights, but I think this personally feels amazing. So that's it. I hope you will take the time to try these stretches for your neck and your shoulders. And again, you can do the first part of the video, what we did, you can do that anytime during your um, work day in the office. And then these ones on the floor, you might wanna save for home, but heck, maybe you can do them in your office too. Who knows? Just enjoy them and um, take time to remember that 30-30 rule. Every 30 minutes of one position, you wanna take 30 seconds to move around or stretch it out. So um, come and join me at my website, femfusionfitness.com. Check out my book, Lady Bits, and uh, definitely send me an email if you have any questions. I love to hear from you. See you later.